Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your word and the knowledge that we gain by being involved with a party of people who read your word. Father, I thank you for that collaboration. Father, I also thank you that this pertains to many things that are going on in our world right now. And I thank you, Lord God, that you help people realize that we continue, need to continue to pray every day for not only for our families and our friends, but also for our country, Father. And I do thank you, Lord God, for blessing our country. And I ask that you strengthen the leadership so that it would be a godly leadership, Father. And I ask that all of us who are Christians and follow your ways continue to pray and see the results that we've been seeing, Father. And I do thank you so much for your wonderful power and all of the wonderful things that you do in our lives. And I praise your name through Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear God, we just thank you for uh, this teaching tonight. And uh, it's just a, a great reminder that, that you are with us always, no matter where we are, what we're going through, you're right there. Um, during the great times and, and especially during the hard times. And um, I just ask that you continue to um, re not remind us in every little way that you can um, because we get distracted. Just remind us just a little small voice or a sign or something that you're there, that you're watching over us, um, uh, that your son, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, is walking with us daily and um god i would like to just thank you for uh donna and uh got a, she's just such a warrior and a testament to all of us I, I just thank you for her and her strength and and god i would just pray that you would give her healing now um emotional healing and physical healing and i pray for her her friend rita that you can help her to uh just continue let um Donna can continue doing what she has been doing. Just keep loving on her and then uh, help to rekindle that, that spiritual fire for her and, and get her involved with them, with some more people and surrounded by people that, that love you and know you. And, and um, God, I just thank you for all the brothers and sisters in Christ that, that, that you um, put in my corner. And, um, I thank you for my family, and uh, I thank you for this great country, and uh, especially I, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and in, in his name I pray, amen. Heavenly Father, and thank you for the wonderfulness of the, of the, the body of Christ and how it's available to all, and I thank you for the unity within the body so that there can be less division, less friction, less uh, misunderstanding, and that you can be healing so that uh, your will can be done here on earth as it is in heaven as much as possible. I thank you for those who are within the body who are suffering, whether it's through illness, uh, through hunger, or through persecution. We, we lift them up to you and thank you for their lives and thank you for their stand on, on your word and the truth of the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I specifically thank you for your spirit that lives within. Did you hear our cry and our hunger, Father, for your power to reside in us? Father, I thank you for your passionate love for us and that we can grow even more deeply and rooted in your love. I pray for courage, Father. I pray for courage for all of us. I pray for courage for my husband for myself for rita for all my friends for the people i pray for daily lord and for robert thomas and father that you help him to confront his fears father with your love and lord it is your perfect love that casts out our fear that is so so true thank you for so for your loving kindness lord i don't even have the words of my vocabulary all I know is my heart swells with gratitude to know you and to know these wonderful people and to be here in this moment in time in prayer, talking to uh, the, the God of heaven, 
and the father of the universe and the creator of all that there is that is good. And for you, Brother Jesus, to be there flanking us, Lord, wherever we go and always being by our side with your angelical forces. Thank you for encouragement for John's teaching tonight, for the word of the Lord, for your goodness, Lord, for just, just being a season of gratitude and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. Um, Father, I just thank you so much for the, for the believers here tonight, and, um, and especially just ask that you would just take away the fear of my ex-husband, that you would just deliver me from that, and that I wouldn't be afraid of him anymore, and um, that I would be, um, know that you're with me, just like you were with Elisha, and all these things in Jesus' name. I have said it. Yes, I have declared it. Will I not do it? Trust me, my people, trust me that I am faithful in everything, that my steadfast love is always there for you. You may come and seek my face at all times. You are my dear ones, my beautiful ones, and I love you with an abiding love that if you will simply trust it, you will understand it and see it for yourself. Just come to me, no matter what it is, no matter how big or how small, no matter how long it's been going on, no matter what you think you deserve or don't deserve, come and talk to me. Come and fellowship with me at all times and in every way. It is in your commune with me as you abide in me through your prayer and through reading and through the meditation of your own thoughts in your hearts that you know that my ways are higher than your ways and the principles within my word that you lock into that cause you to bear much fruit. I have called you to bear much fruit and that your fruit would remain so that you would be witnesses and that when people look at you, you're supposed to be different. You are supposed to stand out. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be remarkably different so that the world knows that you are mine and by your love they shall know that you belong to me. Amen. So, Tashua Kukamae Hepe Rishi. Susaswa to our opoya in our cochea. Cheshe ye she na aye ma our choa, or do a copaye neachi. To tire ye yawa no a boshua co atona a chatoa a pay, ya yeche yaku ana oyeche. My heart cries out for you, my father. My heart longs for me to be with you to walk with you and to bask in the glory of your beautiful presence. I look forward, Father, to the days, the long, long days when I can walk with you and sit with you and talk with you. Father, make these days as bright as those with your presence. Be with us. Show your face to us in this day. Let us know that you are looking out for us. Let us know that you are here with us each and every day. Keep us in mind, Father, at all times, that we, are, we do feel alone and that we need to know that you are there. I am your light and your joy and your peace. And all you need to do is look at my face. And all you need to do is stay your minds on me. And I will be those things to you, no matter 
what darkness there is around you and what, no matter what's going on in your life. I see you when you are hurting, my people. I know that my heart goes out to you. Know that the victory is coming soon, and truly we shall be together on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and you can walk with me and talk with me. Know that I long for that day as much as you do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? You've heard it said that you are a chosen people, and that is true. That is what you are. But you should not find this amazing because as a creator of the heavens and the earth, I choose all of my creation. I would like to be reconciled with all of my creation. What I find truly wonderful and amazing is that you have chosen me through my son, Jesus Christ. Because of that, I leap for joy. I smile constantly. I smile upon you, and I walk with you. So never fear, never doubt. Know that I am with you, and I love you. And that reminds me of the first time I ever heard Jesus say thank you to me. It, 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 it shook me to my very core. I was like, why in the world would you 